Hi and welcome to Cosmic Consciousness with Cassia. On this channel we discuss all aspects of the ascension process. I have a variety of services that I offer to assist you in your awakening journey and you can find those listed in the description box below. So we are doing the daily reading for Saturday, August 29th, 2020. And so we're getting into the galactic energies, as we always do, the galactic signature or frequency for the day. And we're using that as sort of a portal or a gateway to kind of move into this day, move into the energies of it. We'll go over some planetary alignments as they relate, and then we'll do a little bit of a card reading. So just a, a brief um, overture for anyone who's curious about what it is that <laughs> we're doing here. So today's energy is the red planetary skywalker energy and this is guided by birth and this is a day that relates to the heart chakra this is also a day of rainbow activation as saturdays always are so this is a beautiful day to do a rainbow meditation just imagining that beautiful rainbow light swirling all around you in and out of all of your chakras just cleansing and revitalizing your energetic system so the rainbow meditation in and of itself is a great way to connect in with the galactic energies of today we are still in a portal this portal is open, it closes, or its final day is the 31st, which is going to be a huge day. And we're going to get into that as well and just how to utilize those energies. So we'll be that the video for that may come out before the 31st, which I know is just a couple days away, so I better get on it. But yes, <coughs> the portal is open until then. So we can really connect in with our with our our soul selves, right? With higher dimensional energies and beings and we are receiving upgrades and integrations at this time. If you're finding that you need more rest, allow yourself to get that rest. I didn't do that and I came down with a bit of a cold. I am starting to feel much better today, thankfully. Just, you know, we have to take exquisite care of ourselves. So yes, that is, those are the overriding energies of the day. And so the red planetary Skywalker energy. So the planetary is the tone of the day and the red Skywalker would be the tribe. And so with this planetary energy, it's a very much about manifestation and perfecting that manifestation and looking at what it is that we're creating and sort of fine tuning and refining that so that it lines up with our ideals and our values, which is perfect and has been an ongoing theme that we've been experiencing lately as we've started Virgo season, right? So we're, mo we're moving into that energy and we're in the energy or the signature of the red Skywalker. And so the red Skywalker energy is that energy of sort of that energy of creation, right? That energy of manifestation of interdimensional travel and moving and moving beyond linear time like time hopping right so this is perfect that we're experiencing this energy during a portal this is a day where we can really travel to some fascinating places with within ourselves right if we so choose there's just so much potential opening up for us this energy is all about trans transcending old paradigms old conditioning all of these all of these, you know, blazing these new trails, unifying, it's the unification of the spiritual and the physical, right? And how we can do that and how we can bring about that and manifest that into our lives and manifest the things that we want into our lives. It's this beautiful energy of reinventing ourselves, understanding how we are these powerful creator beings and really perfecting calling on that tone of the day, that planetary energy, to really perfect our manifestations and to do so from a place of joy. We're really, we're being called to do so from a place of joy. And the red planetary Skywalker energy specifically uh, resonates with the solar plexus. And so this is perfect that we are, because we have been in this energy of shifting all these old paradigms, right? I believe that's come up, that's been coming up in the readings recently too. And it matches up with the astrology of the day because we have the moon making a lot of aspects today. And we have the moon conjunct Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto, which is all about breaking, the, breaking through those old molds and those old paradigms, right? Like seeing, and it's this Aquarius energy too, like we just did the Uranus retrograde video and all of that we're moving into, we're in the beginning stages of that age of Aquarius. So it's all about that. We're looking at what's outdated and we're renovating that and we're finding new and creative solutions to how to do that. <coughs> 
<clears throat> and we are going to be feeling especially rebellious possibly today. We have Uranus trining the sun. And so we have that energy of like really bringing that bringing that into our consciousness, really showcasing that to the world, like what makes us unique, what makes us special. We're always being called to do that and to step deeper into that. And today is a day that we can do that very well. We also have the moon squaring Mars. And so this can be the moon squaring Mars and Eris. And we and then we still have those Mars squares going on and Venus squaring Eris as well. So there's, there's definitely some tension in the air still. We're definitely feeling that. It's, it's, this could be a day <clears throat> where we tend to start feeling like all of our responsibilities might be weighing us down a little bit and just really feeling, just feeling the emotional energy of that and maybe bogged down and frustrated a little bit like this is a day where those we may experience those flare-ups where we're we're feeling like we're coming up against those walls and those obstacles and so this energy is asking us to reach beyond that to reach beyond all of that and understand how incredibly powerful we are and just allow ourselves to to get out of that frustrated type energy and to get more into this this galactic flow right where we realize that every obstacle is just an opportunity to perfect ourselves even more and to perfect our journey right and to perfect our manifestations and to really take that time to reevaluate this whole year has been a retrograde season right there's a planet retrograde at some point during this entire season multiples right and so it really is an energy of reevaluating, of bringing it back and being like, okay, so that's not working. What would work, right? Okay, so that's not what I want, right? This is a year, we've got this blue lunar storm year, right? So it's a year all about contrast and polarity. And we're really being shown what it is that we don't want so that we can understand what it is that we do want. And today we're really being asked to focus on what it is that we do want and to bring that to work and to calling that into fruition, which is absolutely beautiful. And we do have Mercury sextile Venus right now so, and um, trine Jupiter. So that and Pluto. So that it does bode well for communication. So we've got that working in our favor today, you guys. All right, let's pull some cards and see what see what we can get for a reading today. What do the cards have to say? And I'm wanting to pull from the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. So we're going to start with those. See what the Angels and the Ancestors have to say about today. Saturday, August 29th. What is going on for Saturday, August 29th? And we have the peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. And so, yeah, this is good. This is good advice when we have all of these squares going on. We, it's just, there's a lot of that energy where people are, like we've been talking about the past few days, feeling kind of feisty. We got that Mars, that Eris energy, all of that. Eris is the feminine warrior planet, right? And Mars is the masculine warrior planet. So our inner warriors are really being called to the forefront unfortunately the problem is like if we don't know what if we don't have something that we're fighting for then we just start fighting against everything and against everyone right that's that that is the pitfall that aries energy can can fall into is being that fighter being that warrior but a warrior needs a battle that's worth fighting and so really finding the battles that are worth fighting today and releasing and letting go of the battles that aren't Hello. We also have She Wolf. Unleash the wild within. So that's that Uranus energy, right? That Uranus trying sun energy. That creative energy, right? That red Skywalker uh, planetary energy of really having this joyous creation process going on today. Like being being who we truly are, unleashing that off authenticity on the world. Really seeing like what <laughs> allowing our soul it's like <laughs> she's wearing the wolf on her head right and i just have this vision or this this feeling of her she's just like howling at the moon so really releasing that and letting that go expressing that right we've been talking about utilizing that throat chakra and expressing that energy like unleash your creative potential unleash your your wild rebellious side but in a way that makes you joyful and makes you feel good like really just allow that, allow that to shine. 
but don't unleash that <laughs> on people who on people that are kind of pissing you off today don't do that unleash it in in beautiful ways beautiful creative ways you know and if you need to unleash it in an aggressive way like what is it that my friends offered to do for me they offered to uh <laughs> to donate a pillow that I could stab if I get really frustrated like there are ways to release anger without without harming other people or ourselves right sometimes we just got to get that out you know we all experience that from time to time I am no different let me tell you mm. but yeah whatever it is within you that you've been that you've been sort of suppressing that really wants to find a voice and wants to find a channel for com communication for creation unleash that today this is that that paradigm shift right like unleashing those aspects of ourselves that maybe society has told us are inappropriate or that we can't express and really moving more into an embodiment of that in a way that feels legitimate for us and then we have summer bask in joy and light so bringing that joy in, right? This this joyful creation process, like we were talking about. We are perfecting ourselves, but we're doing that in a way that's joyful, right? And so in Virgo season, this is really important because Virgo can fall into that perfectionism trap, right? Virgo is a sign of the virgin. And what that means is like purity, right? Virgo is always seeking purification, a higher level of evolution and refinement. And so that's what this energy today is calling us to do. But with that joy, looking at it as this beautiful dance, this beautiful unfoldment of energies, right? It's not, we don't have to we want to try to not take it too seriously and this is where unleashing unleashing that wildness within us is going to help right like we don't have to do it perfectly as long as we're doing it and we're being honest in our expression of it that is perfect then we also have the night be brave and honest just like we were talking about right and the sage be devoted and committed so Brave as we are as we are unleashing ourselves on the world, as we are coming into this fuller authenticity within ourselves, right? As we are perfecting our manifestations and our creations, we want to be honest, we want to be brave, and we want to be devoted and committed to that path. And so the Virgo energy, having in Virgo season, this is very easy to do because Virgo is very committed. Virgo knows how to commit themselves to a task, especially when that task is self-advancement. But just being brave and honest about what it is that brings us joy too. Like not feeling like that's where the wild within comes in. Like what brings me joy may not be may not be what society or what other people in my life believe should bring me joy right it's that should word right we're shooting all over ourselves we don't want to do that like this is like what truly brings me joy and can i be honest with myself about that and with others about that like this is a day where we're really getting some feedback on our manifestations and what we've created in our lives and really looking at that and being like does this resonate with my soul does this bring me joy does my outward reality reflect my ideals and if not how can i unleash that wildness within myself in a in a joyful harmonious way right in order to create something that does bring me that joy how can i step into myself despite what anyone else thinks or has to say about that step into my joy really embody that how can i be devoted and committed to myself to my own joy to my own path without fear of what others are going to say about that <clears throat> and if other people come up to us today and they have things to say about that that's where we let go of the need to be right we just allow them to have their perspective and their opinion you know, like what's best for them may not be best for us, but it is what's best for them. And sometimes people want to impose what's best for them onto us because they think that that's how they can help us because they're seeing from that perspective. And so they don't necessarily always understand that that's not, it's not a one size fits all. We are all these incredibly unique people right these unique expressions of source and what works for me isn't necessarily going to work for you so it's it's just about allowing everyone to have their own perspective understanding and always looking from that place of compassion and you know like thank you for your input but i'm moving in this direction because this is what resonates for me yeah 
And on the bottom of the deck, moon. Take note of intuitive messages. Those are coming through. I mean, we have this portal open right now. We have just all of these incredible energies going on right now that are really facilitating that process of opening up those channels of higher communication. And so just really flowing with that and allowing that and paying attention to where your intuition is nudging you. What are, what are those intuitive messages that are coming through for you today? And how can you act upon those? How can you unleash those in a way that's productive and healthy? And then under that, we also have traveler move in a new direction. So this is moving out of those old paradigms and into these new paradigms, moving in the direction you're being called to move in. If we're looking today and we're, we're just really feeling and understanding that we're not where we want to be, we have the power to change that and we can choose a new direction at any time. It's never too late to choose a new direction and to, to recommit to ourselves and to our own joy and to our own path, right? It's never, ever too late to do that. Somebody needed to hear that today. So I want to put that out for whoever needs to hear that. And then mirror guardian, take time to reflect. Take time to reflect. This is reflecting on our manifestations. This is reflecting on our intuition, our inner selves, right? On our joy, on, on all of this, this beautiful tapestry of our lives that we've created so far. And if we don't know what to do, take that step back. Connect in with your intuition. Reflect. Ask for that guidance and then move forward. And we're going to grab a couple Keepers of the Light cards to close this out today as well. What do the Ascended Masters and the Keepers of the Lights have to say today? Okay. Archangel Michael, trusting heaven. You are safe. Angel, stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. And then we also have the Shenika, sacred self. Unleash your spirit. Express your gifts. Dance to the sacred rhythm of life. So this is like that wildness card again, right? The she-wolf card. Letting your wildness shine. Letting your true self shine through. You don't have to be afraid to do that. That's what these cards together are telling us. Like we do not have to be afraid to express who we truly are, to be, to be who we truly are in the world. Like dance that dance and like don't care and don't worry about who's watching. But allow people to be inspired by that dance. Just, yeah, you are, you are safe to express your truth, to express who you really are. I mean, she's got this beautiful dove coming out of her throat chakra here. So it's like express that love. Express whatever it is that somebody, some of us have been holding back from expressing. It's the time to, to allow that to be known, to be communicated, to be expressed in whatever way resonates and feels right with us. And like there's definitely a miracle occurring for someone because we have just with these cards together with the dove surrender your concerns allow a mirror like there is this is playing off the energy that we got the other day of somebody who's been feeling as though they're they're the miracle isn't going to happen for them whatever that miracle is that you've been waiting for and you've been wanting just stop worrying about it Stop worrying about it. Surrender those concerns. Just bring yourself back to your place of joy, to your center, and allow things and allow things to unfold. Like that worry and that stress and that fear is blocking that those miracles from occurring. And our own resistance blocks that. So stepping out of that resistance. And today is a good day to really start to understand where that resistance is coming from. Allow those messages to come in from your soul that help you understand where your resistance is coming from so that you can move beyond that. If you need assistance with that, reach out to me. I do personal readings. I do incredibly profound energy healings. I work with angelic energies. These healings are so deep and so beautiful, and they can really help us to move beyond some of these energies that are holding us back. And then we have Green Tara, Supreme Protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation. Trust. So just that protection message coming in loud and clear for you guys today. Do not be afraid. You are so held and you are so protected. 
and move beyond. This is a day to move beyond those limiting beliefs, right? If we're creating, if we're calling on that, that red Skywalker energy, right? We're creating this new reality, this new par paradigm. We are, we are moving and shaking and shifting things, right? Like those limitations, like allow those to be removed. Allow those blocks, those obstacles to be removed because the only thing that is keeping them there is you, right? We are, our own minds can be our greatest enemy. They can also be great out allies if we know how to utilize them. But first we have to know how to utilize them. And then we also have Mary Magdalene, teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. So for some of you too, and this is energy I felt the other day as well, your inner teacher is awakening. You have beautiful spiritual insights to share with the world. You have something really profound to share with the world and you've been afraid to share that. And so this is just confirmation for you that it is safe to open up and do that. Call on Archangel Michael, call on the green Tara, right? Like ask them for protection as you move through and just know that they are standing behind you. Envision them standing behind you. Envision your teachers, envision your guides, your angels standing behind you, wrapping their wings around you, sheltering you, and allow them to give you the strength to do the things that you need to do. There is an inner calling. There is something important that you have to share, something unique and beautiful that you are ready to express in the world and unleash, unleash upon the world. And like you may be afraid that the world isn't ready for that or that you're not ready for that, but it's just taking that first step, really diving into that. We're being called and challenged to dive into the unknown right now and just know that you are so loved and you are so supported. And then El Moria, Awakening Presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. Come on. So protected, you guys. So protected. And your ancestors are, uh, are standing behind you as well. Like this is just, this is such beautiful energy. I really hope that you guys are feeling that and understanding how blessed and how protected and how loved you are. All right, we're gonna call that for today. And the, the ancestral card also spoke of healing, healing ancestral lineage. So for some of you guys, like you, you expressing your sacred gifts with the world, right? Expressing and sharing the truth that's within your hearts, really stepping into your empowerment and sharing what it is that's burning within you to be shared is also healing ancestral patterns and ancestral wounds. And so your ancestors are standing behind you to support that with support you with that because it is so healing for them as well. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for, for being with me for this daily reading today. Let's take advantage of these energies, guys, and make the best of it. Drop a comment if you enjoyed this video, if it resonated. Like, share, subscribe. You know the deal. There's a link down below to donate if you feel so moved to do so. I love you. I appreciate you. I will see you tomorrow.